Hello and welcome to the Watch Gecko YouTube channel and more importantly our very first Q&A. So a few days ago we put a post out on social media asking you guys to send in some of your questions and we've gone through some of our favourites so we're going to sit down and answer some of them now for you. Okay so the first question comes from Hayden Fleetwood from Instagram who asks can you stock more 19mm straps? Okay good question Hayden. We have been working on some 19mm straps recently with the additions of the Oxford Simple Handmade mm -hmm. and a few of our NATOs to the 19mm range. Yeah, we're always looking to add more odd size straps as well to the range, so if you've got any suggestions for straps you'd like to see, let us know in the comments below. Okay, so next question is coming in from IL007 on Instagram, and he has asked, do you have an Oyster Style bracelet to fit the Halio C4? So while we don't specifically have an Oyster Style bracelet to fit the Halio C4, what we do offer are some wrapped curved end links. And because they're wrapped, it allows for some manipulation to fit to different watch cases, so you should be able to get a pretty good fit from that. However, we have been working on some Rolex and SKX specific curved ends to fit the Super Oyster, which are recently listed and will be in the link in the description. Okay, so the next question is coming in from Gabriel on Instagram, mm -hmm. and he has asked, Do you have any recommendations for a NATO or Zulu strap for my Seiko SKX? Okay, for the SKX, there are three main categories of NATO straps I'd recommend. To start with, we've got our Combat NATOs. They're our standard range. We offer them in many colours. Uh, there's next, there would be the Swiss style NATOs, they're slightly modern, different design, similar to the Combat NATOs but just, just got that different hardware. Um, and finally it would probably be maybe a leather NATO, changes the look a little bit um, and they're really really nice quality le leather as well. Okay, so the next question is coming in from Sam on Instagram and he has asked, do you ever see the company moving to selling just watches? Okay, so at the moment Sam, we have no plans to separate the two. All the members of staff here, we all really enjoy designing both watches and watch straps. Uh, however, we are always working hard to ensure that both sides of the business are as strong as each other. Okay, so the next question is from Boya from Instagram who asks, what are your personal favourite watches and why? Okay, thanks for the question. That's probably a topic we could spend all day going over. Uh, however, for now, we'll just pick the one watch each. So for me, it would, it would have to be the Rolex Submariner. It's a watch that I've always loved. It's the one that's currently on my wrist as well, and it is also the watch that got me into the hobby. Okay, that's a great choice, Tim. However, I'd go for something a bit different in the FP Jean Chronometra Blue. I think it's a very interesting watch at that price point being in the Tantum case with the 18 karat gold movement. Uh, the mirror polish blue dial is quite attractive with the Guilherme sub-register for the seconds and overall it's just a, a really cool watch and I'd love to see one and hopefully own one in the future. Mm. Okay, so the next question is coming from Nicholas on Instagram and he has asked, what are your personal favourite straps and why? And mm. since we could probably talk about this all day, just like the watches question, we'll just limit it to one. So what would your first personal favourite strap be and why? Okay, I would probably have to go for the Simple Handmade in the chocolate brown colour. It goes with most watches I put it on, I think it complements a black dial really well and it has a nice vintage aesthetic which has really helped with the ivory stitching we have on them. So, Yeah that's good, I'd also go for one from our handmade collection, so I'd go for the classic vintage racing. Nice. I really like the Italian wax leather, it's, it's a thick cut and it's quite hard when you first get the strap but over time it will break in and form to the wrist perfectly and it will get extremely soft. I'd go for the reddish brown colour because I find that after a few months of wear the edges start to get burnished and it starts to have, generate like a, a deep burgundy mm. hue to it which is quite attractive, a nice vintage look and again the, the ivory off white stitching just seems to complement every watch that goes on. Okay so the final question for today comes in from SKX013 on Instagram who asks, it would be great to hear how you guys got started. Okay so Watch Gecko started back in 2010 by John our founder who was originally selling straps out of his spare room on eBay and over time as the business has grown we've hired more people and moved to a few different premises. Recently we bought our own building which there's a blog post on the website that explains it all. Yeah it's a huge milestone for the business and the company uh, and one of the benefits of it is we're able to have a room completely set up for videos. Okay, so that's all the time we have for answering questions today. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video. However, there are a few more questions we'd love to go through and I'm sure you have loads more to ask. So if you let us know in the comments below, then we can have a go at them in another video. Of course, don't forget to hit the like button below and also subscribe if you do want to see more from us. We should be back very soon with another video.